It's gotten worse. It's gotten much worse. Our guest host, David Stockman, has railed against central banks, is the only adult in the room. And now the Bank of Japan, they trump all with massive accommodation, a sleepless night for Stockman as they try to reverse deflation and spur growth. And that brings us to my chart of the year. This is direct theft from Jason Trenard and his team at Strategas. And this is back to the Draghi speech of 2012. And all you need to know is one of the banks, thank you, PBS and the Muppets, yeah. is not like the others. The blue line below is the austerity of the European Central Bank. And everybody of everybody above has a punch bowl filled to the brim. And then there's the what, Bank the of BOJ, Japan. The Fed, the BOE. Yeah. I think it's important that we thank the Sesame Street, not the Muppets. Very important. Excuse me. I, there's a co surveillance right. correction. Wrong. Surveillance oh, correction wrong. right there. Yes, surveillance correction. But there it is. I mean, I mean, David, this is the method. None of this is in the textbooks, is it? None of it. This is monetary madness that has gone off the deep end. Sure, the Bank of Japan is crazy, starting with 50 percent uh, to GDP balance. Maybe sheet up to 70 percent, according to well, John. Well, I know Herman. they started with 50 percent. They're going to be adding 80 trillion to their balance sheet. That's <clears> three trillion a year in U.S. scale economy. And what what is the purpose? It's to trash the yen, uh, and they've got a process started that's going to upend their whole But that economy. means strong U.S. dollar. What is Bill Dudley, a public official with public responsibilities, as you once had, what does Mr. Dudley and the rest of the Fed have wrong? Uh, well, I think they have wrong the idea that 2% inflation is going to accomplish anything. There's no historical or scholastic basis for that. That's just a repeated phrase by the central bankers over and over and over to justify the money printing, the balance sheet expansion, and the manipulation they're doing of economy. Should they separate the rate dynamic from the pay down of the bonds? Should they, they, right now it's bonds first, then raise rates. Should they reverse that? They should liberate the rate. It's, we've had enough interest rate pegging and manipulation by the central banks. What's wrong with the free market? Let them get out of the way. If the short-term rate needs to move to 2, 3, 4, 5 percent, let it happen.